It's super smelly. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Abby and welcome to Agutainen blog in today's video I will be teaching you the process on how to make a dried fish but we're gonna do it in this guy this is not just a fish this is a an eel or they call it an Agutainen almang and we commonly call it indong and there are also like different languages that Filipinos just love this, especially the natives, they love this. It's delicious, but it's, it's super <laughs> smelly, so you wouldn't want to smell it. So if you're very sensitive to smell, make sure that you don't touch it when it's, it, it has a slime. Look at my hands. See? It has like lots and lots of slime. It's so smelly, but it's so delicious. You just like have to like check it out if it is available in your market. Okay, let us start our tutorial. Okay guys, I have here some banana leaf and to contain the fish because it will get dirty when it fell into the ground. So I put some banana leaves under this chair. This is what we're using for a chopping board. We always lose stuff like I, I already like told you. So the first thing that you have to do is cut, make some cuts. Hopefully you can get yourself, uh, can get yourself some bigger knives or like sharper knives than what I have because it's really slippery you have to hold it still and be careful not to accidentally cut your fingers I, I don't know if you're seeing my cat but I, I do have a cat sitting under my chair so there, we, we managed to take the head off. Now we're gonna make some cuts for, because I don't really, we don't really like make the, make dried uh, fish with the head. So we're gonna leave it there and we could put some coconut milk on it later. And we're gonna make ginataan. So we'll just continue chopping chop like slice it uh, we don't really have a decent knife so I don't, I don't know it's so cruel uh, this is what they ate so we just love this stuff. <sighs> so we managed to have one slice like this week. You can slice it like depending on what sizes you want. And then this is the, the fin. Here we are going to make a cut. Not here because it's gonna be like hard for you to make a dried fish if you started cutting here. This is the belly of the almang. And we're going to do it here in this area. So we will start. We'll start by at the edge by cutting at the edge to the fleshy area then hold it in the belly though so it won't slip in your hands so you would uh, avoid injuries make sure you're using a sharp knife okay now you see 
I already made a cut with this one. Don't mind the 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 palangat though. Cut up. So we'll just continue making cuts until we reach the center of our fish. Okay, now that we actually like reach it, we can just like dry it like this or we can make more cuttings with this by removing starting here over again on the other part of the this is the bone the other part of the bone i'm not deboning it i'm i'm just making it thinner so it will be easier to dry because if it's too thick it will be hard to dry i want it to like dry it in a day to avoid the stinky smell of the dyeing usually dyeing are stinky so I, I don't like stinky dyeing. I mean, we don't like stinky dyeing. So we make sure that we dry it just in a day. Okay, then we remove this. We don't need this. We'll just put it there. We can cook that for the, for the pets though. They don't mind. And there. We are done with one slice. The next process with this one is um, putting salt in it and vinegar. Okay. So here we go, guys. We already finished slicing it into these very thin slices, as you can see. Now we're going to make a mixture that we can soak this in before drying it later. We're going to get another pan. Then we'll put some this vinegar and then we'll put salt I'm using rock salt so we'll put like decent amount of rock salt and then we'll put a little bit of sugar with it maybe just estimate it to keep the flies away and then we have to dissolve the salt here check that out it's a rock salt so i don't think it will actually like dissolve all of the particles but at least let the salt be soaked on the vinegar and absorb it i think we're lacking salt we should add more since i have plenty okay So let's just stir it for a little bit longer until it kind of like dissolves a little bit. If you have iodized salt or some salt that is not a rock salt, that is also good. It's easier to dissolve. So I don't think it will be dissolved. <laughs> but usually we just don't really bother that much dissolving it it's really good if it is fully dissolved okay now we'll add this eel here and stir it a little bit okay you have to know that there are some when you just cut that up and it's fresh there's like some red areas pale red areas that you can see there just make sure that before you dry it, those are white like this. Look, it's been like the, here in the vinegar for like a couple of seconds. And it's already like white, pale white. See? Make sure that your eel meat is already that white before removing it from your salt vinegar mixture. That way you know that it is already cooked. Not cooked from fire, but cooked from vinegar. Vinegar can cook. 
Okay, then we'll just keep adding more. I will give you guys an update on how it turns out. After drying. So, oh, we also included this. These are the bones of the ear that we have. We debone it, some of it. And we also put it here. We'll just continue doing this. You can, you can also put garlic in, black pepper, and some stuff. Maybe some herbs and spices, maybe, I don't know. And soak it like overnight. That would be much better than you can just uh, fry it in the morning. But it's called lamayo. This one is also a lamayo process, but we want it to be like dry. Unlike lamayo. Lamayo is not fully dried. It doesn't last that long when it comes to shelf life. Look at this one. If, you, if it is fully dried, it would last for like a month or so. So here, it's turned into white, pale white. You can also soak it like this way, but it's better if you would actually... You can just put salt in it, by the way. Like, if you want to, you can just like make a, the slices and toss some salt in it. As long as you put enough salt, it would be fine. Okay, we are... Done. And this is our final product guys okay guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment what do you call this in your language and help me and my channel by subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell to get you updated to the videos that I will be posting soon. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you next time on the next video. Bye-bye.